All right. So, uh, trying to figure out, this is a first come first serve type deal. So this isn't going to always happen to everyone. So if you're chiming in to like later, like next year, cause this is going to blow up next year. Everyone's going to have conversations trying to figure out what's going on, all this blah, 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 blah. So my talk, the way it works out, if an error arises and it stirs something up in you, get creative with your comment. And that's what this other gentleman's doing. He's trying to find his narrative and his uh, connective properties in his mind. And then ask me a question that tickles my fancy and I'll try back in. So later on, it's got to be a potent, not, I don't, I don't want the negative. I don't want to try to fix your problems. That's not my job. All right. You got to fix your own problems. I got to fix my own problems. But in this situation, we have an agreement that if you figure out something personal about myself, you won't share it. It's not your story. All right. And maybe it'll affect someone else negatively. So what you do is you find a way of conveying certain pieces of information without uh, eliciting the actual details of the story. So that's the basics. Additionally, um, I had explained when I first did new tropics, I was at McDonald's and having uh, seven conversations at once. This happens all the time on a one-to-one -one basis, the, what I'm trying to explain. So I'm going to explain it as clear and concise as possible right now. So you know when you talk to someone and they're talking in front of other people and they're talking to you or even on a one-on-one -on -one conversation and then your brain automatically says, do they mean this? Are they trying to hit on me type deal? And I'm just using the, because the, everyone's trying to get their, uh, uh, their, their junk in their pants uh, all warmed up and nice and wet. So, but anyways... So they take that, uh, that look, they're, they're trying to figure out whether they're talking business or pleasure. That simple. That's a business one-on-one. Business people know how to talk pleasure quite well in business, and then people get a misrepresentative, and then they get all fucked up in their head. Anyways, that's what cocaine's for. Anyways, you can't afford it. And people that said they did coke is full, so full of shit, they have not done the good coke. So anyways, all right, so we're, we're up to speed. So that seven uh, person conversation, what I was doing is talking to all seven people at once, merging each one of their conversations into one congruent uh, conversation. So I was speaking to each of them. And then whenever I had to break off, I would say their name. I would say like, because they would, they would ask me, they're like, who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. And then like, and then the other person was, I was talking to you. And then I'd relay the exact story and I was breaking it down for them. They're like, so you're talking to all seven to us at once. How are you doing this? Cause you're, you're answering my questions and you're answering their questions at the same time. I'm like, I'm just being super efficient with my uh, energy and whatever. So, and they thought I was on crystal meth. That was their answer to it. So then they matched me up with someone who was doing crystal meth, but she was fun. She kept trying to hint at me that she had the ability to be super submissive. And she she was okay with that. That's what she was looking for. Uh, but that was because that's how she was raised. And I'm like, you have the capability of being a, a monster in, in the business community because of the information you know now. You know how to lay down in the conversation and then get all the information and then use it. But she didn't know how to use it. So, anyways, not my problem. We did our thing. It was awkward as fuck. And uh, I was concerned about having kids with her. I didn't want that. At that point in my life, I couldn't handle kids. I was not ready. I was not there. So, at least my own kids. So, anyways. So, blah, blah, blah. Um, we're going to go back through. I'm going to first go. I just downloaded this app, which I'll show you that real quick. All right. Hopefully it won't. It did re. So when you saw, hopefully it'll show it still. Yeah. Okay. So this was what I saw when I first opened it. All right. I hit open and then these were the three items. So it literally says P O O poo. All right. And if you think there's a, those two items aren't connecting, they literally say four, seven at the bottom, four, seven, four, seven. All right. There's a, there's a, uh, in one of my, I'm not looking it up again. It's on a couple of my videos in, in the descriptions. Uh, computers can't count. And there's a blonde haired guy and there's a number 67 and 70 or 68. And they tell you why the numbers are always varying. That is such a bullshit thing at this point. Computers are so much faster than the information we're receiving. So they, they're able to send you uh, clues as to what, 
uh, the conversation needs to happen next or where you need to go or where the most beneficial thing for the, the greater good. So, but you have a lot of these psychosis patients trying to explain like, no, I saw these three things and they had these numbers, they had all these things. Uh, I did uh, in Man Bear Pig explain, no, I'm not sure if it's that one. It may have been the next one, right? And following that, it has uh, asphalt. Uh, it's your own asphalt uh, sweatshirt or hoodie on, because I was trying to support local communities. You know, I think they're still open. But, and then ABC Trucking for my hotel videos, that's also here locally uh, near, it's in Leadwood, I think. But uh, anyways, all right, so I always talk about shit, software, hardware, information technology. That's all it is, okay? When you say shit, it, for one of two things, you're leaving your mark, okay? Literally, the, what the body doesn't want anymore, that's the only reason why you need to talk. You need to talk to let people know that you don't want to hear it anymore. You're like, if you're going to tell me that, I'm going to blow you out of the fucking water. You want to hear some stinky ass story? Here you go. You're going to laugh and shit yourself to death now. Do not come at me with your shit garbage, all right? If we're going to work together, you need to give me something good, okay? So that way, I can give you some educational material, I'll give you some, and it's just me pissing all over your shit, so so you blow your shit out of the water, I'll educate you with some ammonia and clean it up a little bit, and then you do what you do, if you're not willing to buff it out with a little ammonia, then fuck, there's nothing I can do for you, alright, so anyways, I talked about the blues as well, and I don't like TikTok, because it's just a short little snippet. So it's 15 seconds. What they were doing is trying to get you to concise your conversation down in a visual sense. But a lot of people abused the thing and then basically made it like uh, dumb fuck videos. So anyways, so I'm going to close that out. And I think I can close. No, I'm not going to even try that. So this is the original con comment that uh, now I think I may know this guy in person. I'm not sure, but. Well, first and foremost, it's a kid on the fucking screen. So I'm not sure if it's his kid or himself. That's his own business if that's the way he wants to do it. So I always put my image on uh, my social media. I don't use uh, AI stuff. I use an actual raw image. Well, as best I can because as soon as you put it into someone else's uh, uh, social media site, they have their own uh, uh, re reduction method. So they, they compress it. They take uh, because you're putting this huge image in there and then they recycle it into their little thing and they crop it and all this stuff. They still have the original image.